from child predators to heart-eating murder. These are the top five most monstrous MMA fighters to ever step into octagon. Coming in at number five is Mike Whitehead. Mike Whitehead, also known as Iron Mike, fought for various promotions, including the UFC and Strike Force. He compiled a relatively impressive record of 27 wins against seven defeats. He even fought Rashad Evans in the Ultimate Fighter season two, which he lost by unanimous decision. But he was given another chance in the UFC for his next fight against Keith Jardin, which he lost by unanimous decision. In January 2012, Whitehead was convicted of attempted sexual assault on a female who, along with a friend, had visited and stayed overnight at his Las Vegas pad. The presiding judge, Douglas Hurden, sentenced the 30-year-old to spend between one to four years in prison. For his transgressions, Whitehead will have to register as a sex offender for the duration of his existence. But that wasn't as bad as compared to Brandon Sailing's story. In 2004, at age 18, Brandon, also known as White Steel Sailing, and his accomplice James Allen, also 18, were charged with first-degree felony of rape. Following the alleged unlawful sexual intercourse with a minor, for that infraction, Sailing was placed on a sex offenders list. Four years later, Sailing was given a 40-day jail term for domestic violence charge. It's safe to say that Sailing isn't your average MMA fighter. He sports an AT tattoo with the symbols 88, which denotes the Nazi greeting of Hail Hitler. There are two reasons why Sailing was able to slip through the net and appear on the Strike Force card Tate vs. Rousey. First, he failed to disclose and lied that he was a sex offender on his forms to both Ohio and New Jersey athletic commissions. A violation that leads to his license being revoked and could also result in an indefinite suspension from all professional MMA activities. And secondly, but more importantly, no one in the San Jose or Zafa based promotions felt the need to run a spot check on sailing, thus giving him the chance to engage in the octagon that night. That said, sailing has amused a 8-6 record, having his debut in 2011, with 11 of those fights taking place in one year. Now going to MMA fighter to sex offender, retired fighter Patrick Bates Smith. He was 20 and 15 in MMA and has a conviction for sexual assault on a child going back as far as 1999. For a set of crimes, the 48-year-old Smith was rearrested for failing to register as a sex offender. Smith, who fought and lost to Ken Shamrock in the arguable UFC 1, the beginning, has a 4-2 record in the Zufa based promotion. Now going on to one of the worst UFC fighters to ever exist, not just his actions, but by his record as well. Joe Sun, 0-4 in MMA and 0-1 in the UFC, is currently incarcerated in Masco State Prison without the possibility of parole. The South Korean's present plight came about due a dirty trick of fate, or in this case, a well-deserved karma invention. In 2008, the 5'4 heavyweight fighter was placed on probation after pleading guilty to felony vandalism. Following that case, DNA sample Sun was implicated in a 1990 gang rape of a teenage girl. At first, he was charged with five counts of rape, two felony counts of forcible sodomy, two felony counts of sodomy in concentrate by force, and one count of sexual penetration by foreign object by force. However, those charges were later dropped due to stature of limitations. He was instead charged with conspiracy to torture and commit murder, the former of which cost the 41-year-old his liberty. At present, Sun, who played the character Random Task in the motion flick Austin Powers' International Man of Mystery, is presently faced with the charge of first-degree murder after he killed his cellmate, a convicted sex offender. 
sends words to the gang raped victim, it's Christmas, this is your lucky day. This takes us to the last person in the most wicked MMA fighter to ever exist, Gerard Wyatt. Allegedly intoxicated by wild mushroom tea he had consumed, he went ballistic on his training partner, Taylor Powell. Fearing he was the devil, Wyatt, in a maniacal state, cut out his tongue, tore off most of his facial features, and ripped one of his eyes out. He also cut out Powell's heart while he was still alive. Wyatt, who up until then had competed in his first and only professional bout, a TKO win over Seth Stanfield, told the investigating officers that he'd chucked the heart and other internal organs into the fire to ensure the devil, Powell, was dead. Wyatt's alleged words to one of the officers were, Satan was in that dude. At present, Wyatt is up on a capital murder charge, which could either constitute a life term in jail or the death penalty. If you guys liked and enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and let me know what else to cover. Until then, take it easy.